just receive a letter. We are living in a democratic country where due processes must be followed. If there's somebody that has done something wrong, the processes must follow so that that person can be able to defend herself. But I find an organization that has got no respect for governance, they've got no respect for their own constitution. They simply wake up in the morning. I don't know whether it was on the 5th or what, but I still don't believe uh, uh, that there was an NEC meeting. I believe that someone wake up in the morning and believed or this woman, uh, we must just remove her completely out of football. Welcome to Sunday World Engage, a platform where we interview influential and prominent people in South Africa. Today we are honored and privileged to have Mama Ria Letwaba, a well-known football administrator and veteran. Uh, Mama Ria, thanks for honoring this invite and we are privileged to have you here. Well, thank you very much, Humoto. Uh, I, I am a uh, a privilege also, it's an honor for me to, to sit here. Yes. Mama Maria, for those who may not be in the know, tell us a little bit about your background and who is Maria Letoaba and where the passion started for football. I think decades ago, uh, I, 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 I'm born in a family of boys. Let me start there. I'm born in a family of boys and they, they all played soccer. Mm -hmm. So that's where the, my passion for soccer started. Uh, but uh, you know uh, the Chippies Little League competition, that's where I started to, uh, to, uh, looking into young players that were playing there and we registered them in the Chippies Little League. From there we had played in the Caltex under 19, representing Limpopo both Chepis, we represented Limpopo in the national playoffs, we went up to the semi-final. Uh, under 19, we represented Limpopo, played in the final with Hellenic. Under 21, we played for three years in succession. The last year, we played with two for joy, where Steve Lekulea was playing. And we started that team, uh, Riestas, with five boys from Naughty Boys that were talented, but because there were many players that were playing there, they came to my house and say, but why don't we you register us in the under 21, Toyota under 21 competition? And I said, a competition you knocked off in your first game, what happens? And then we decided to talk to the president, uh, the late uh, Ruben Muhashwa, to allow us to register in the Impala League. And that's where it started. That first year, we won all their games and we were promoted to the third, third division of the PSL. And that's where we went to the next stage, the next stage, the first division. And in, two, in 1999, Ria Stars was promoted into the Premier League. That's and tell us game. a little bit more about Ria Stars. And well, the start and it, the end. It, yeah. it, it was a, a, a lovely journey, a tough one, of course, because uh, you know, uh, Komoto, in this uh, industry, you, you, you pay for everything. Mm -hmm. You know, you pay for salaries of players, you pay for their traveling, you pay for their meals, you pay for their accommodation. So mm -hmm. it wasn't a very uh, a smooth journey because at that time when we were in the PSL, uh, when we were promoted to the PSL, the grant was 200,000 rand. Our overhead was over 400,000 rand. So you had to close the gap. I invited Chico, remember, into the team when we were still in the first division. And Chico assisted wherever possible where he can assist, assist in terms of just closing that gap. You'll have to close it with gate taking, with selling uh, uh, supporters there, their regalia and also um, the the uh, membership cards. So that's where we're closing because it was very difficult for teams in the first division uh, to get a sponsor. 
you know, just to have a sponsor to support you financially. Uh, but then when the league decided that uh, they, were, they wanted to reduce in 2002, they wanted to reduce the, the teams from 18 to 16. Two teams sacrificed. That was Free State Stars and Rear Stars. And, and that was a very huge sacrifice, you know. And it was a sacrifice because uh, we, we didn't come into this game for making money. Uh, it was the reasoning of reducing the team to 16. And if Rear Stars and, and Free State Stars did not agree to give their status back, we'll still have 18 teams in the league. But that's the kind of sacrifice that we made to, to, to say we are giving back our status to the league so that the league can be reduced, we can have better competition. And indeed, after that, we've seen better competition. The World Cup came, and after the World Cup, that's where they are right now. You can see the standard is, is better than that time. Mm -hmm. yes. With all this contribution you have made to South African football, Mama Ray, yes. there was an unfortunate event uh, on the 6th of March. Yes. You, find, you found yourself banned from football. Yes. Can you give us a bit of background? How did we get there? It's a painful and emotional uh, 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 matter where you wake up, you just receive a letter, we are living in a democratic country where pro due processes must be followed. If there's somebody that has done something wrong, the processes must follow so that that person can be able to defend herself. But I find an organization that has got no respect for governance, they've got no respect for their own constitution. They simply wake up in the morning, I don't know whether it was on the 5th or what, but I still don't believe uh, uh, that there was an NEC meeting. I believe that someone wake up in the morning and believed or this woman, uh, we must just remove her completely out of football, forgetting that uh, we, we have the justice system in this country that will look at, at, at what you are doing. We have got the South African constitution that has got rights of association, the rights to freedom, that you are violating somebody's right as an individual. So I, I, I simply spoke to my legal uh, team and they said, simply said, no, we are going to write a letter first to suffer to ask them to withdraw. Mm -hmm. And that's what they did. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, knowing the arrogance of the organization uh, with disregard of their own constitution, I didn't expect anything from them. You know, we gave them terms that if you don't uh, respond, mm -hmm. you will then have no option to, 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 to approach the court. Mm -hmm. But you, you see, uh, uh, my, my, I'm, 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 I'm so disappointed with our organization because the, some of the things that they're talking about, it's some of the things that you make a phone call. Mm -hmm. I've been the vice president of this country, uh, of this organization. Mm -hmm. I'm saying, why don't you just give me a call? We invite you to suffer, we would want to speak to you. Mm -hmm. There are issues that we think we need to sit around the table mm -hmm. and be able to discuss with you so that we do not spend any money or football into the paying the lawyers, mm -hmm. you know, or going to court. Mm -hmm. But there is no sense of that at Safa because they don't use their money. Mm -hmm. They use football money. That is not there. That there is no. There are many complaints from ABC municipal teams, from the referees, from everyone. We are not paid. We, we, I'm not even sure if Bafana Bafana were paid even Banyana Banyana. I'm not sure of that. Mm -hmm. You know. But I'm just saying there are so many outcry out there from the regions, from the LFA about the manner in which this organization is run. You know, it, it's run not in terms of the statutes that are there. Even those statutes, you can question the statutes and say, where have you ever seen 
uh, uh, statutes that it, it's, a, it's a fundamental document of an organization. Where have you ever seen that kind of a fundamental document all the time changed, amended before the elections? just so that it suits certain individuals. So, unfortunately, uh, it's, it's suffer NEC and the president that can be responding to some of the questions that we are asking because I'm not there. Yes. But I, I feel they, when I was there, I raised those issues. Mm -hmm. I, I, I had a one-on-one -on -one because out of respect for the president as a vice president, I would not want to argue with him in an NEC meeting because, you know, you hear a, a South African saying, uh, but she was there, she was part of the, for eight years she was there, what did she do? Unfortunately, if you are not in an organization, you have never set your foot in an organization, you will be asking those kind of questions. But some of the things out of respect, you listen to the debate in the in the NEC and you feel this is not supposed to be. And then you make an appointment with the president in his office. You sit with him. You discuss with him, president, why don't we do things this way? And I can tell you, Komoto, the five, six, ten times that I met with the president, he has agreed with me. Mm -hmm. And, and Mamaria, let's take it back a Please. little bit. After the elective congress, yes. you were seeking arbitration yes. and stuff. Yes. And then on the 9th of February, yes. uh, the case was dismissed. Yes. Your case, Leah, slowly, yes. Mushabing was yes. dismissed. Yes. And afterwards, I understand you appealed. Yes. And that's where we the, are. The, 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 the letter to Benue came. I, I don't think so. No. I mean, if if I was, I was banned because I... Uh, to suffer to court. Mm -hmm. It's last year. Mm -hmm. We the case was heard on the thirteenth of November. Mm -hmm. The judgment was 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 given Nine, on the ninth. But the case was there from that time, and they in their own affidavit. Mm -hmm. Remember, I went to court uh, before the election mm -hmm. on an agent basis, mm -hmm. saying to the court there are many disputes not only with me, there are many disputes with the regions and all that. Can these elections be, be held at a later stage? Let's sort out the dispute first. Mm -hmm. And the, the judge said that it was struck mm -hmm. of the law, that case. Then, but in their own affidavit, every page of their affidavit, they were saying, but she has the right to come back to court after the election. Mm -hmm. But my, my dispute did not come after the election. My dispute had nothing to do with me losing the election. Mm -hmm. There were processes, there were issues, in, including the, con the constitution, how it was amended, how it was presented in the... In the there is a, an article that tells you exactly how and, and a constitution is amended and by who, how do you do it and all. And it was not done that way. Mm -hmm. So I'm, 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 I'm simply saying, yes, I, you have to exhaust all internal avenues. Mm -hmm. We paid for the arbitration. Mm -hmm. We asked Safa to put our dispute to an arbitrator. And I must say, it's not for Safa to say you can't take the matter to arbitration. It's not for them. It is for Safa to set up an arbitration. An arbitrator must say, I'm dismissing your case. Mm -hmm. That was end of story. Mm -hmm. But then if you have an organization that has got rules, that has got platforms for you to raise your, your dispute, and those platforms are denied by the same organization, where do you go? Mm -hmm. Obviously, I don't want to talk about the case. I'm not a lawyer, but we have appealed and Safa has put a notice that they are going to oppose mm -hmm. our appeal. So if you know everybody, I mean, South African, even uneducated people, they know or when you have a case and you appeal, that case is null and void. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. There is nothing you can talk about that case as long as there is an appeal. Mm -hmm. You wait for that appeal, then an, an appeal is not the end of, of, of justice. There is still uh, uh, the, the, the uh, SCA. There is still the Constitutional Court. Mm -hmm. So you, 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 until a person has exhausted what they want to exhaust and you feel or because all this appeal, you have time frames. Mm -hmm. you, you have to do it at this time. They will know they've not done anything. Then we can take action. But you can't start writing letters mentioning the judgment that has been appealed. Mm -hmm. and, and, and you, you praised that judge so much in your, in your letter. Why don't you just give us the judgment? Why praise the judge and, and say this honorable judge did this, what, and what, and what? Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, it has been a battle. I think uh, I've touched wrong uh, uh, buttons at, at SAFA with the truth. Mm -hmm. Because now what I'm talking about, no one can challenge. I, I, I have spoken to all media houses that are calling me. I said, but why don't you call me with the president of SAFA? Mm -hmm. Why don't you invite president of SAFA? Let him sit here. Let me sit here. Let's answer those questions together. Mm -hmm. But why are they not uh, coming to, to the party? Why, are, when they're invited, they are not coming? What's the problem? Mm -hmm. and, and what is the latest with your appeal? We're waiting for the date. Mm -hmm. We're waiting for the same judge to give us a date mm -hmm. where it's going to be argued. And then what do you aim to achieve? In that case? I, want, I want the judge, I, I want to go to an arbitration and put my dispute. Because my dispute will liberate football. Mm -hmm. The dispute that I'm putting, it's not anything to do with myself. Mm -hmm. has nothing to do with Ria. Mm -hmm. It has all to do with governance of SAFA, mm -hmm. with the constitution that has not been uh, amended properly. Mm -hmm. I want proper structures to be there at SAFA and run, and we must respect the, the constitution mm -hmm. that we, we have. And what is your dispute in order? Uh, there are so many things. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> there, there are so many, because there is a, you know, the case is sub judicate, mm -hmm. you know, so you can't talk about also your court case or what. But as I said, one of the things is the governance committee mm -hmm. that was not, uh, uh, it was names that were given by who? Mm -hmm. The members must, must be sent a notice. We are appointing a governance committee and we are requesting each member to provide a name if you have a name. Mm -hmm. That's that's how we do the election. You don't just wake up and then you are sitting on the table, there are names. Where is the name? Somebody must tell me where it's a, 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 the name of the person, who, Sidney Mofumad. Mm -hmm. Where is he? Because he was announced to us. Mm -hmm. I have a letter that says this are the governance committee. And I ask them, I wrote a letter. He said, but where are these names coming from? And, and because he's a man of integrity, he did not want to be uh, dragged his name into, into this mess. But nobody t told anybody why Sidney Mofumadi did not accept that uh, uh, whether he was written a letter or whether he also saw his name in the paper, mm -hmm. I don't know. Because it was not a decision that was made uh, in the NEC where I, I've never missed the meeting. Mm -hmm. and, and you having been there for eight years and, yeah. and, and longer yeah. in, in, in different structures, and yeah. stuff, what is the problem at SAFA with our national association? Leadership, no mm -hmm. doubt about that. You see, and, and, and I think people must not uh, forget that... Uh, Denny Jordan is not the first president of SAFA. Mm -hmm. We had four, five presidents of SAFA. There we had Wu, uh, uh, Professor Hadina Bukau. Mm -hmm. We had other presidents. We had Wu Stix Marawa. We had Wu Olifant. Mm -hmm. Have you ever been in this situation? Why not? If, if these issues, why are they from 2013? Why? Why are they to? Because we are president, we have never seen any uh, 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 organ, any region uh, 
uh, put on administration. We have never seen court cases. The amount of, of money that Safa has paid to individual lawyers, even to write a letter, a simple letter that the CEO can write. It's written by a lawyer. A lawyer can write a letter of Safa to members. It has never happened in the history of any federation where a lawyer is there to assist the organization in legal matters, but a lawyer cannot write a letter to members. Never. But that's what's happening at SAFA. You get a, law, a letter from, from a lawyer of SAFA. And then what's the role of the uh, uh, CEO at SAFA? I got a letter on the 16th, the letter, uh, on the 6th of March. It says uh, the NEC has taken a decision. I'm, I'm, I want SAFA to challenge me on that. There was no NEC meeting. But the letter says uh, the NEC took a decision. Secondly, my lawyer write to them, can you withdraw? Then they write on Monday, they say, uh, we have referred your matter to our legal uh, department, we will uh, come back to you soonest on Monday. Mm -hmm. Then on Tuesday, a letter is written, not to my lawyer, to me. So I'm saying, where is corporate governance? Mm -hmm. Then my lawyer must hear from me that hey, I received a letter. Did you receive this letter? But I see who received the letter there. He didn't. Re and then the letter also say, by the advice of the legal team, whatever, whatever, we have realized that you are not a member. It can never be by the advice of the legal team. It must be by the NECs, the highest decision. The lawyers don't make decision for SAFA. They only advise SAFA and say, this is what we think you should do. Then the CEO must write a letter, and that letter must reflect, because even when the, the legal uh, team of SAFA has made a decision, it must go to, be, to the NEC, and the uh, NEC must debate it and agree on it. And then, because the, uh, the CEO of SAFA Komuzo only implement the decision of the NEC, they don't implement the decision of the lawyer. Mm -hmm. It has never happened in the history of SAFA. So, so you are implying that the NEC was not involved in this. And from, from listening to what you're saying, that no one can challenge the leadership of SAFA. Well, you have structures of mm -hmm. SAFA, you've got clubs that are paying their money, if they are happy with the manner in which the, the organization is running their affairs, you have got legends mm -hmm. that are there that have played the game forever, you have got supporters that are there, you have got SASCOC, that is the custodian of sports in this country, you have got the minister. I'm talking about South Africa. Mm -hmm. You have got those structures. Those structures, they complain, but they complain in the street out there. No, we are not being paid. ABC Mozipa team has not been paid and, and, and all that. As long as they don't bring their matter to the front and be able to be heard, the status quo will remain. But the challenge is that FIFA gets involved when there's no it is a collapse of governance, which I believe this collapse of governance at SAFA, to this mismanagement of funds at SAFA. Definitely no doubt about that. Mm. And, and now, the NEC, yes. you were saying, were not involved. They, were not, uh, yeah. they, they, must, they must prove me wrong. Mm -hmm. yeah. They must tell me where was that meeting, where is the notice of that meeting. Mm. And, 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 and you are convinced that there was no... There, there was, I'm convinced there was no meeting of the NEC. That's why even the letter to withdraw mm -hmm. does not say the NEC. Mm -hmm. it, it simply says the lawyers. And according to me, lawyers cannot take a decision on behalf of the NEC. People are saying you were there yeah. for many years yes. and you were not raising issues. Why are former NEC members or other people that have left suffer only raise issues when they have left. And are they not vocal enough when they are still there? And unfortunately, I raised my issues when I was there and, 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 and there's no doubt about that. I have a pile and pile of letters of questioning a lot of things and you become an enemy.
the moment you write a letter, it's, it's an enemy. Even before your letter gets discussed, it's already discussed uh, over the, the WhatsApp group. So, and, and I must say, it is wrong to even say uh, these people that are called disgruntled former NEC mm. member, they've never, they've raised, Ndata Mooka raised this matter, mm. he had reported here, Dennis. Mm -hmm. He raised it in the meeting. He said, no, guys, we have to take this report to a judicial, Renat's Renat judicial board. Mm -hmm. Can we take this report? Let it be handled. And I can tell you, Komut, maybe the judicial uh, tribunal would have looked at it and there's nothing to worry about. The matter closed, mm. but it has gone to the right channel. But why refuse to take allegations, serious allegations, mm. and you just refuse to take them there? I'm one of them that raise and say, but Gay Mugwena report, it has to go to, to a tribunal. Then Mooka told them in that meeting, or if you are not going to allow this report to go to a tribunal, then I have no option but I'm going to open a case against the president, mm -hmm. not against Safa. If you look at the Hawks, and if there's nothing against Safa, it's always against, everything is, the report of, uh, of Dennis, the report of Gay, the, the, the letter of, the report of White, they all point into one direction, the president. But why is, is this matter not been taken to a tribunal? Let the president go there and be able to defend himself and put his matter to rest. It can't be the NEC. Why is the NEC not doing anything? They are afraid to what I'm going through. Mm -hmm. Simple. They are just afraid. Victimization, remember, you, you, you have a... You, you, you are victimized. Mm -hmm. You will be definitely victimized for the, the stress that I'm going through. You know how much I paid for my legal team? Mm -hmm. How much? A lot of money. For my family money to defend uh, football in this mm -hmm. country. It's not duty. I'm not defending myself. I'm, I'm losing nothing personally as a person. But the legacy that I have worked through Throughout the decades, I cannot sit back and say, ah, I'm out of football, there's nothing that I need to do, uh, let them sort him out. Then I don't have the interest of football at heart. What are some of the privileges that NEC members enjoy for them to keep quiet and want to stay on in football, even if it's so clearing that uh, things are not done properly? There's the suit, mm -hmm. you get a suit. Shiny suit. Yeah, you get a suit. You sleep in a hotel. Some of them have never been in a hotel in their lifetime. Uh, you sleep in a hotel. You fly. You get First into class. a flight. No, you don't fly. They fly economy. Mm -hmm. They fly economy. And and the, the the most one that everyone fight for there is the HOD, uh -huh. where you have to be an HOD of uh, because you get hundred and ninety dollar a day. Mm -hmm. So. If you are there for a month, you can determine how much you come back with mm -hmm. about hundred thousand rent. Then you can feed your. Mm -hmm. your you can't. You can't have a situation where a, 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 an NEC member or some NEC member they they want money to buy Christmas for their family, and then you receive money on the twenty fourth of December. Honorariums. No, mm -hmm. I don't know whether it was an honorarium, mm -hmm. but I'm saying I'm a vice president of SAFA. I'm sitting at home. I see 20,000 rent. Who took that decision? Mm -hmm. Who? And then you ask, you, you have a secular that says SAFA is closed from the 15th of December to the 8th of... So who takes a decision regarding 24 when mm -hmm. the offices are closed? Mm -hmm. Who pays when the offices are closed? I sent my 20,000 rand back and I wrote a letter. I said, until I am, I, I, this 20,000 rand is discussed in an NEC meeting and is clarifying why it was paid on the 24th and who took that decision, mm -hmm. I will not accept this 20,000 rand. I said it back to self. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then there were WhatsApp groups going around. Uh, uh, talking about the 20,000 rent, where mm -hmm. I'm not in the, those words. But we all see those, or we hear about those uh, uh, WhatsApp groups. Then they, uh, before the election, 
you remember in, uh, on the 26th of March, there was a decision also by the remuneration uh, uh, committee and finance that we deserve to have uh, the honorarium from 2019, 2020, 2021, mm -hmm. 2022. It was about 540 if I calculated it correctly. We got paid 100,000 rand before the election. Mm -hmm. Yes, and, and what happens? Before with, the elections. Yeah, yeah. and that 100,000 rand, I gave it to four LFAs. Gave mm -hmm. twenty five thousand to four LFAs in Capricorn, where I come from. I said, run football with it, mm -hmm. and then they received calls and 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 and, and, and letters to say, but why do you accept this money? Mm -hmm. The hundred thousand before elections yeah. was the timing deliberate. It's always deliberate. Mm -hmm. The timing is always the the, the one the twenty thousand rand was deliberate is for Christmas mm -hmm. and and this one yeah we're going into election now you know you are covered. So what more do you want? So there's a lot of suffer money. It's a, there's a lot of uh, rot bad suffer money. It, it needs to be challenged. It needs to be sorted. South African Football Association uh, need. To be saved honestly we we need to save our organization this organization has got so much to give to our young people out there so much uh, south africans love it so much you know you can't take it away from south africans you have to have an organization that your partners your your corporate it's they sit in there they know oh, look at that why are we not missing that? Why can't we put money into mm. that program? But would the I, I don't know would the corporate look at what is going on now and want to associate themselves? And also, do these NEC members do they understand the damage they are calling? I mean, this letter for 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 me it was an unnecessary. It was so unnecessary, honest. Mm. I, it was so unnecessary, you know. But, I mean, even to withdraw it, it was worse. Mm -hmm. it, it was a worse, worse thing to do. And what does it do? What damage is it doing to the, an organization? A poor organization that is already on their knees. They are already on their knees. And Ria is sitting there minding my own business. I'm not worried about anything. I'm looking at my appeal. Boom. Then they bring me back into the picture. Mm -hmm. Here I am today, I must be explaining. What, and, and this is the things that Safa must explain themselves, mm -hmm. not me. But here I am because I'm a South African. I don't want South African to be uninformed mm -hmm. about things that they, 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 they have passion for. Mm -hmm. At the meeting on Wednesday, I saw you had three former CEOs of SAFA, yeah. Leslie, yeah. CDB, there was Dennis Mambol, and yeah. there was Game Queen. Yes. What are they telling you about their turn when they were there? The Dennis doesn't have to tell. Negri gave us the report. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and we had an engagement as the president. Mm -hmm. Remember when he was supposed to come back mm -hmm. in 2018? Mm -hmm. There was issues that he raised. Mm -hmm. And I was part of the presidency, which is myself, Gay, and Compella, and mm -hmm. the president, mm -hmm. sat with Dennis in Sorry, a, in a, in a table that. and we were talking about Dennis coming back. And mm -hmm. he was saying, no, I'm not coming back. I will only come back if the president put it in writing that he's going to have separation of power. Mm -hmm. Politics, he can run his politics, but administration, I must run at me. If I do not have that letter, that commitment from the president, forget it, I'm not coming mm. back. Mm. And Game Quena? Same thing. Mm. They he raised the issues, he raised the report to show the, his relationship with the president during that short period of time. Mm -hmm. It is there in the report. And he, Gay indicated that unless these issues are addressed properly, and they, there is proper structures that are put and the NEC exactly know their responsibility and all that. We are still going to be facing and indeed that's where we are. Mm. Leslie has got his own issues yes. that he raised also. He was actually banned by, 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 by FIFA 
on on matters that I, I was not there at mm-hmm. the time. Mm-hmm. So he he is he knows exactly because mm-hmm. he has worked with the, with that leadership. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you also had former NEC members Vernon Simu, yes, Prawili yes. Mwoka, yes. and staff. Yes. They also experienced. Yeah, but the 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 hawks are there because of Mooka. Mm-hmm. Uh, Venon has raised issues there that uh, this is the pattern. This is a pattern that has escalated to the regions. The regions are doing the same thing that is happening here. If you go to the region uh, and ask what what are what are the regions doing? I don't know. I don't know if there's football playing except the regional league mm-hmm. that is there all the time. The teams, the Bona, they are there, they will play. Mm. Yeah. And I think in 2015, there was a resolution yeah. taken about that NEC members should be cut down to about 20 mm. or less than 20. But we are seeing the opposite with more than 40 members currently. Yeah, because the president will come, no, 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 FIFA, uh, they also have their, we, we are doing this South Africa, we can't be told by anyone mm. to do it. But there was a resolution, as you see, a Congress, the, the highest body, there is the Congress, but the Congress has taken a resolution that they, and, and they were happy about that, that it must be reduced to 20, to 20. I, I even say, why not reduce it to nine mm-hmm. and have nine representation? From provinces. Uh, yes, yeah. and then have the president and the vice president. Mm-hmm. Then you have a, 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 a committee of 15. Mm-hmm. Less cost for the flights, less cost for honorarium, less cost for uh, hotels. You would have saved so much money. You know, as I say, there's just so much money that is wasted in that organization that could have been saved. Mm. Do you think FIFA or SASCOC can intervene? They have all the authority to do so. Mm. F- as I said, FIFA does not intervene in day-to-day running of an organization, of a federation, mm. but they interview on two principles, mm. collapse of government and mismanagement of funds. They must be able to look at that. SASCOC has got all the right to even institute a forensic mm-hmm. uh, 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 an investigation into the matter that are, are raised. They can't. They can't just uh, sit back and do nothing about it. I saw the minister on TV on uh, yesterday, mm-hmm. on the 21st, saying, I'm still waiting for SAFA to, to explain. I, I don't know what, what are they supposed to explain. Mm-hmm. You know? But I saw the minister speaking there, so I'm hoping that uh, something will, will will happen that will bring this organization uh, to a point where we can all be proud of. And I'm not advocating remove so and so. That's not what I'm advocating. I'm just saying let this organization be be saved. You know, and saving an organization is in many ways many ways that you can be able to do. I, I believe there are capable men and women in that NEC that can actually stand up and be counted. But I know the reason why they are not speaking is because they are afraid to be victims. Mm. Have you approached Sasko? No, I, I would not approach Sasko because uh, there was a dossier that was sent to Sasko with all the complaints that are there. The complaints of the of the of the local footballer, same pattern of the things that we are talking about. It was the what did Sasko did nothing. Mm-hmm. nothing. Do 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 you think uh, you being banned and a whole lot of battles that you're having with is it a personal thing? Is it a personal attack on real No, it is a personal attack, no doubt about that. They are taking me personally. They are they want to remove me from football. Unfortunately, they will not be able to do that. I have contributed immensely my money, not anybody's money, my personal family money. There are things that I would have wanted to have I didn't have. So no one in the NEC have the power 
in fact, to declare me persona non, non grata. No one. It's not even there in the constitution because they don't they don't respect their own uh, 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 constitution. They don't abide by their own constitution, you know. And even the withdrawal, when they say now we have, just imagine they 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 have no shame. Honestly, Safa has got no shame. I mean, you you write a letter, you say now we realize that you are no more a member. But in court, they said I'm not a member. Mm -hmm. They've already told the judge, or I'm not a member. So you forgot what you just told the judge there, the case that you won, on that basis that you were telling the judge that I'm not a member. Then you write, you do something that you know you shouldn't be doing. Then you come and say, no, no, now we realize that you are not a member. I'm saying to you, Mkwen, even if I was a member, Mm. The NEC have got no authority to declare any person in football persona non. They do not have that. It's only the tribunal. If they decide or no, Mgwena, uh, we 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 have uh, realized that you have brought uh, this organization into a dispute. We are we are taking your mat. Then you have due processes mm -hmm. that you can also defend yourself. But the NEC have got no authority to do what they did. Mm. Do you think that maybe you are being victimized because you are a woman as well? There's no there is no respect for women in the first place, and and I will tell you, I I, I once went to the president's office and I said to him. President, uh, we need to do, there must be a, a way of doing things in SAFA. One, the HOD that are supposed to head the, head the, the, to be the head of delegation for the national team. In the constitution, they are not appointed by the president. Mm -hmm. They are appointed by the NEC. But you have been appointing it's okay. You have been appointing the HOD, not the NEC. You choose who you want there. But I want to put this debate with you. When you choose those NEC the members to go and head the, the, be the head of delegation, can we see women also heading Afana Bafana? Mm -hmm. I want to see that mm -hmm. in my why are we having men only HOD mm -hmm. for Bafana Bafana? I was HOD, he appointed me HOD. Remember when we even went to beat Nigeria in Nigeria mm -hmm. during Sheikh's Masha, mm -hmm. I was in that Afcon, mm -hmm. go uh, that country there. I'm, I'm, I was the HOD, and that was it. After because I want to speak to you, and I'm saying, why don't we see that pattern continuing mm -hmm. if he has agreed with me that I think you are right? Why? Why can't we? The, the issue of the reveries that we see women uh, rev, uh, uh, doing, uh, 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 being officiating like uh, the game of Wafana mm -hmm. yesterday, I put that, it was my presentation to Kev. Mm -hmm. The first women conference of CAF, it was me and a lady from France that we put that presentation back there. What the reveries, women reveries are enjoying today is the presentation we did in 2017 to say the reveries do the same course, the coaches do the same courses. Why don't we have a woman coach coaching under 17? If we do the same courses and they are all coaches, why can't we do that? And the reverence, why can't we see women reverend doing Afkon Yavanna, Musibasadi? Not only them, there must be a mixture of that. And today, I'm sitting there, I'm saying, ah, it's happening mm -hmm. while I'm still alive. And I'm happy to see women being in PSL did also, I saw, uh, uh, 
the girl from uh, uh, Akon. Akon. I saw Akon doing the final yeah, 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 sundowns and, mm. and in the net bank. So mm. for me, it's those contributions that people don't know that we have made in football, that the benefit they see today, it did not just come. It was someone who put a document together and be able to present it in a Congress in, 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 in Morocco. Mm. So these are the things that uh, people don't know uh, uh, because we don't talk about them. You know, there was no SAFA website there saying uh, our representation from South Africa made a presentation to them. It must be their history. So they, because glory must go to one individual. Mm -hmm. And when things do not go wrong, everybody else is wrong except this one. Mm. And you mentioned that the association is on the brink of a collapse and, and sponsors don't want to touch them. Can you elaborate on that? They don't have sponsors. They don't mm. have to elaborate on anything. Mm. Do SAFA have sponsors? They don't. Mm -hmm. They don't have a, 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 a sponsors that we used to have. They don't. They don't have. Mm -hmm. they, 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 there is no corporate government. Nothing. There is nothing. They don't abide by the constitution. They don't. What they did to me with these two letters, it's a demonstration clearly that there is no law there. There is no uh, corporate governance. And, and, and that's how this organization has been, unfortunately, has been operating for over those eight years that have been there. Are they collapsing? They've collapsed. Mm -hmm. They're not collapsing. They have collapsed. They don't have money. Safa doesn't have money. Mm -hmm. Why are the uh, staff tooling, uh, putting down tools? Why? Ask yourself. But because of pay. I saw that article. Mm -hmm. I don't know what they're fighting about. Because I don't. No one at Safa speaks to me. Remember mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. They don't greet me. They, they are afraid. They will tell me. Specifically, we go, we go that road because we don't want to be seen with you. Because the moment anybody at Safa is seen with me, there's trouble mm -hmm. going to Rome. So, but I'm saying if the staff members are talking about that, so what? Go to ABC Municipal League and ask them, have they ever got a kit? In their contract, it says you will get a kit. When you register, you get an away and home kit. Where is it? For these years that they play, now I know my son had a team there. Never got a, an outfit for himself. I, I, actually, I had to sponsor him all the time because he didn't have money. All the time he would come to me, hey, my players they need food and what have you. So, and many other. Well, the rumor can tell you he has got a team in the, in the ABC Municipal. He will tell you when he's paid, when, when suffer, and when uh, 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 the, the president of CAF has paid. He pays his money for the ABC Municipal. And what does he do? instead of being the first priority must be the ABC Municipal League that gets their money. Mm -hmm. So they are complaining. They even wrote a dossier. There was a dossier that was sent to, to, to us and the NEC said, no, we are going to ban these clubs, we are going to do what. But, and, and I say, look, I understand uh, your anger, you think it's only us who, are, who, are, who run football, but if there are issues that are raised in a report by the clubs, can you interrogate the report and look at what is complained about and then deal with the report? You can't just dismiss the report. Mm -hmm. But what happened? The president had uh, uh, two people from the ABC in his, his office during that time when they were saying there was no troubling mm -hmm. in his office all by himself. I was the vice president then. They, when we saw on WhatsApp and, 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 and papers that the, these two individuals came to his office and he discussed with them that report, and, and that was it. So that report was never discussed any longer. Mm -hmm. So is that how you, you, you deal with this? Yes, you can call them because you are the president. 
discuss with them, but bring the matter to the NEC. I've had, I've called these two gentlemen in my office, NEC, and this is what we discuss. This is the outcome. We can't see it as I'm, I'm the vice president. I see the pictures of him in the office, and it's a decision. Whatever is decided there, it's a decision of the organization. How, where have you ever seen uh, things like that? Mm -hmm. You have structures that must be able to take decisions so that you are protected. And I always advise in prison, now I don't want you to be blamed tomorrow because you have made decision that on your own. Engage with it. Now it's the platform is even easier than a little visual meeting. Have a visual meeting with them. You can send them WhatsApp. Let them commit so that you are able to protect yourself tomorrow and say, but this was uh, done uh, by the NEC. It was not by my decision. But most of the things that I spoke about here are decisions that were never brought to the NEC. I was there, I'm talking about something that I know, and I've got no personal vendetta against the president, I must say that. I, I don't have any personal fight with him. I'm, I'm only talking about the organization that he has brought to, to the ground. And only by not using the constitution, if you use the constitution, you are covered all the time. Mm -hmm. You know, it might be a mistake somewhere, but protect yourself with the, your statutes. Every time when you do something, it must be in line with your, with your, your statutes. So I, he can justify that if he's asked, can justify. Many times I sat with him one on one mm -hmm. and out of respect. Not that I wanted, I could have raised my issues in the NEC, mm -hmm. but I didn't want, out of respect, because some of the issues that were raised were issues that I believe they should have been discussed in the presidency first, mm -hmm. so that when we go to the NEC, we stand together. But if some of the things are raised there, and I'm hearing them for the first time, I wouldn't want to be in confrontation with my president right there. I would rather go to his office and, and, and talk to him in his office and say, President, I, I believe you are doing something wrong. And sometimes he would even say, no, uh, I spoke to the NE, some of the NEC. But why some of the NEC? Why? Why some of the NEC? Why not all NEC members? That is wrong. I'm your vice president. I, what you are talking about, I'm hearing it for the first time. I remember even when we were supposed to to nominate a person for SASCO. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I made an appointment because I wanted to speak to him about that. And then when I got there, he said, no, some of the members, before I even mm -hmm. raised that met, some of the NEC members have uh, 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 agreed or we must nominate Linda Zwani mm -hmm. to to be, to represent that as SASCO. And I said, President, now I'm advising you that all these years, we have never had a representation at SASCO football mm -hmm. because you only look at the NEC members. They are president of the region, SG of the region in this, in, in this organization that I think they have the capacity. One of them is Muneri. And I'm not talking to you because Muneri comes from, from Limpopo. Mm -hmm. Muneri has been, Eric Muneri has been there, has been a secretary, has been very stable in terms of the constitution of our, our organization. Mm -hmm. I would have loved that we have names of people that can be there. No, but uh, I don't want to, to go back to them. But that is your personal arrangement with them. Nagi, um, I don't know what, you have never spoken to me. There is a suggestion of these names. And I said, President, I'm asking you, this is what you need to do. And I'm not saying Linda is not capable. That was my way. I'm not saying Linda is not capable, but Linda is new in terms of uh, the structure. Mm. I'm talking about somebody who has been there for decades, mm. you know, that has served 
as a president of a confederation in Limpopo. He knows the structure there. Now I feel the, every time the names that we are, we are, we are nominating are not well known by the, the, the sports mm -hmm. fraternity. That's why they are never nominated there. And then I said, can we then ask these two gentlemen to send their CV mm -hmm. to the members? Let, let the members, remember the members is not the NEC only, mm. it's the members, the 52 president of the regions. Mm. Let them do that. I know, it's okay. Uh, I think we are also agree Muneri is very capable. And Muneri is one person who would, if you go and ask anybody in the Congress, Muneri will always raise issues of importance. At some point, in many instances, things are sorted out by Muneri in the Congress because he'll raise a very important and says, President, in terms of the statutes, we cannot do that. Mm. And the President will say, no, 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 he's right. He's right, that's what the statutes say. Mm. And so, but it never happened. Yeah. With events of the last couple of weeks, the letters that were written to you, your appeal and stuff, what is your ultimate goal? I've, I've said I want Safa to be saved. Mm. And it it's, it can never be saved by real love, mm -hmm. you know. And it's not saved for it's not opening a space for me. Mm -hmm. No, that's not what I'm asking. I'm simply saying let's have corporate governance at Safa. Let's have monies of football being dedicated to football, mm -hmm. not to to NEC members. In fact, the Picard Commission was very clear that football people must not be reinvested, they must never benefit financially because they are voluntary. That is the Pickard Commission. That's why the, even the president is not paid. Mm -hmm. It's not paid any cent for him to be the president. The benefit is just traveling around and, 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 and all those other things. But uh, Safa, uh, needs some kind of saving. We we need to save that organization. I don't know who's going to be able to do that. I'm just raising the issues that I think need to be addressed. Uh, we have CAF. The president of CAF has been nominated by South, South Africa. The president of CAF is a South African. I'm sure he has got the interest of football at heart. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure he would not sit back and look at the collapse of an organization and say, no, everything is, it's, 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 it's well itself. Nothing is well itself. Mm -hmm. And then you mentioned that people say you, you, you called the hawks to go and raid Safa. No, but uh, it's even in the letter where they responded to the letter, yeah, white. Mm -hmm. I've never spoken to White ever since I left mm -hmm. Safa. Mm -hmm. But in the president's response to the president, mm -hmm. not the NEC, mm -hmm. the president's response to White letter has my name in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you are working with Ria. I've never spoken to White ever since I left Safa. I've never, and he has never been a person that I would call normally, mm -hmm. even then when I was there. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not that type of a person who call people and find out their, their, what they think about a matter that is going to be. No, I look at the constitution, I read the constitution, I research myself and I raise my fact there. I don't care whether anybody uh, agrees with me and, or not, but all my facts that are there in writing. Because every time I raise a fact, I write a letter first and say, I want this matter to be raised in the... In the I've raised it. I, I'm sure uh, there was a point where they say, having you received the letter from Ria? Because even some meetings that were called were unconstitutional. And I said, President, you can't say to me, uh, this meeting, you have always had it. If somebody tells you they are wrong, it must stop. You can't, maybe you didn't know, but now that you know, but those are the things that are raised in, in, in the NEC. So no one can accuse me of saying, no, she's now talking because she's no more a president. Unfortunately, for me, there was no benefit. 
I didn't benefit anything from uh, being a member of SAFA for eight years, except that I've contributed, I've added value, I have uh, established the National League of Women single-headedly, I, and I chose women. I went with women throughout the country, and I engaged the clubs. The clubs were the first time they see an executive from, from head office speaking to them. But that's what the clubs told me. For, yo, Mamrea, for the first time, we are seeing a vice president come into our regions and, and talk to us, finding out how we want this national team to be run. So I know my contribution. They know what I have contributed. The High Performance Center, I started that High Performance Center. I ran that. And, and when I ran it, we didn't owe. We never owed a High Performance Center. You can go and check in the book. They still owe a High, high Performance Center when we have approved 9 million rand in the legacy trust to be paid to HPC. Why is that 9 million? Why are they still owing? Mm -hmm. If there was a, in 2021, there was a 9 million rand approved for high performance center. And, and that money has not gone there. And we are told, I saw a report saying, no, we paid 5 million, yes, we still owe. But why didn't we pay 9 million rand? Because it was approved. Mm -hmm. Why pay 5 million rand? The region, region, men, regional league, women, uh, seven million uh, uh, men's regional league, six million women's national league, seven million uh, uh, regional support. Calculate all those monies and divide them by 52 and ask any region, have you received this amount of money in your account? They will tell you, because the regions don't even know. When they receive money, they will say, yeah, we receive money. But remember, SAFA has got an obligation. It's not the, the money from the Legacy Trust. Mm. 35,000 rand every month for the grant. Mm -hmm. That is a commitment the organization have to the region. That money doesn't come from the Legacy Trust. It has never been requested. This last money, yeah, regional support, it was requested. And it was approved. Mm. So I'm saying, go to the region offices. They they are chucked out of offices. They don't have offices. They they can't pay rental because they don't. They can't pay the staff that are working there. That's where football is happening. If uh, uh, regions can don't have offices, they can't pay rent. They can't pay their staff. Then how how are they going to even? and manage to run football in, in those regions. So this is the stage that, that we, we are. And Mamaria, as we wrap up, um, do you have more pending issues or other matters you may want to highlight? No, I, I, my matters are, are there in the public. And if I can be challenged and somebody says she's lying, uh, this is not, now we'll never talk about rumors. I will never talk about things that I hear other people saying. I will talk about the things that if you ask me today and say, why are you saying the regions are not paid from them? I will tell you because I asked in the NEC, because I asked that question. Is the region paid the money that we approved on the, two, on the 16th of April 2021? In the, there was only 40, 40 Five million rand left. Five million was for dissolving. Forty million SAFA applied for it with specific project program. This program, that program, that even breakdown of what that money is going to be doing. But did that money reach its beneficiaries? That is my concern. And you can ask the question, Komuza, uh, and say, but you have been a trustee for what about the other money? Because you only realize at some point, the application will come for uh, applying for the funds. We'll interrogate, uh, interrogate the application, we'll uh, approve some, we'll reject some. Then the next meeting or the next month, the general manager will come with a report. The mistake we did, we never had check and balances where we say, if money has been paid to a, an, an academy, can we go to that academy and see? Can we invite that, that academy to come and present and say, we have received the money and we didn't do that? It's only when 
we were closing and I was asking questions like, can we just see the bank statement of these four accounts from these four banks? At least zero one of balance is zero, because I've never seen that bank statement. So I requested that. And it was agreed in that meeting, well, in 14 days, we'll get the bank statement. Did we get it? We actually removed. After that meeting, there was one meeting left the, after that 14 days to dissolve. But because we wanted the bank statement and it was, an, it was a meeting uh, uh, approve, uh, approved, it was in the minutes of the meeting, then you are removed. What, what does it tell you? Why are we removed from the legacy trust when there's only one meeting left? Even FIFA, the CEO of FIFA was a member, wrote a letter to say, I don't, it doesn't make sense. Why are you removing people when we have one meeting? Can you reverse that decision? We've got that letter. The media has got that letter. But did Safa do that? Safa, it's a law unto themselves. They didn't. And the president will use this. Yeah, no, we can't be told by FIFA. We are running a federation and we are independent of anyone. So they can't come and tell us. We can't be tell, told by an employee of, of FIFA what to do. That's, that is his answer in terms of that letter. Mm -hmm. And I don't know whether they ever wrote a letter. Probably they did, but a letter that I didn't see. But we were removed completely, and we never received those statements. So I don't, I've never seen the statement of that 600,000 rand that we are talking about. <laughs> Mama Ria, we appreciate you making your time, sitting with us and having this conversation. And we hope to have you as a guest in the future because this was very engaging. And from us, we thank you very much. No, thank you very much. I'm, I'm always available uh, if uh, I'm, I'm called to respond to the issues that I know. I'll always come in and do that. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you very much.